Hey, it's Russ and Lauren from the Infectious Groove Music Channel. We have another reaction video for you today. This is a band that you are extremely familiar with. Yep. I am uh, ELO adjacent. <laughs> and uh, we're going to watch a live performance of a song called Tightrope. Yep. Yeah, Tightrope is off of their uh, New World Record album from 1976. And this is them performing it on the tour for the subsequent album in like 77, 78. All right, let's get to it. I assume you've seen this performance many times. Yeah. yeah. I've never seen this performance. so grand it is it's huge <laughs> well, you have to do that when string players are like in the band they're not just like supplemental people yeah one thing i think about when i hear stuff like this is like and i know a lot of people like jeff lynn still tours and stuff but i think about like if the multimedia that we have today was available then yeah you know yeah. like i uh, you know, think floyd was like the only people pushing boundaries with like film and stuff behind them mm -hmm. you know this tour was a big deal at the time because they actually and this particular performance is from Wembley Stadium and so I could only imagine what right. that looked like during this but they had a big ELO spaceship come down oh, from the ceiling and it's just yeah so that's they were awesome. trying <laughs> I think it's so cool that the strings are actually live instead of just synthesized mm -hmm. or on tape even. I don't know that I've ever heard this song. I've never heard this performance, but I don't know that I've ever heard this song. Okay, so was this like a hit? Do you know, was this like a hit? On the right Not now? as far as okay. I know. It was like the album opener to A New World Record. Okay. I just was curious because I was like, I don't know how you would get that on the radio, like with how many things, how many times it's changed yeah. since it started. But also, like, uh, I didn't realize this was at Wembley Stadium. Uh, like you said, the, like the size of that stage alone and the string section and everything, I assume they don't have any sort of monitor system for the time. No. Like the fact that anybody is in time. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. And what I love about this particular performance is it's slightly different from the album is um, Jeff Lynn sings like the primary lead on this mm. song on the, on the recording, but um, Kelly Gorkett is also singing harmony with him through the entire thing. The and like, song. they're like right in sync with each other the entire time. Do you ever, are you like me where you're like, well, why didn't you do that on the record? Yeah. I yeah. Am a I, bit. Like it bums me out. Kelly's voice is so he's, it's so unique and yeah. weird. But then it's also like, though, like, okay, well at least we have yep. that version. Yeah. What a unique song. Bev Bevan is hugely underrated on drums, by the way. Yeah, so I was going to ask, who's their drummer? Bev Bevan. Okay, and did he was he known for anything else, or is he always in? Well, he was with um, Jeff Lynne and Roy Wood in The Move before, before. ELO. And then he stuck with ELO, and then he went on to uh, perform ELO Part 2. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay, cool.
Nick Kaminsky and his blue violin. This is like happy and ominous at the same time. Yeah. Or ominous. Yeah. Really. Yeah, at the same time. Timing. We're gonna sing it together. Yeah. I was just thinking, and I wasn't sure where to stop it, that this is like a really well structured song and a completely uniquely structured song mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. This is the part that sounds very ominous to me. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Impending doom. And what? A, he ended what, on a major chord yeah, for you. Yeah, what a funny way to end that. <laughs> Uh, so that is us taking a look at a performance I had never seen before from uh, ELO uh, Tightrope and Wembley 76? 77. 77. Mm -hmm. uh, album came out in 76, yeah? Yeah, this album did. Yeah. Right on. Uh, I'm Russ. That is Lauren. If you want to see us react to anything at all or if you have any sort of things, uh, feedback for the channel, please leave a, a comment for us. Drop a like on the video to let us know that you like what we're doing. And as we always say, thank you so much for watching.